the three ways to do that, the three critical things to do for yourself, it's really, it's again, certainty, autonomy and relatedness. Those are the three. So you, you, you've got to find ways to increase your sense of certainty, even though you can't increase absolute certainty. Build three scenarios. You need to take some time on that. It might take you the whole weekend to sort of reflect and build them. So scenario one is like, you know, things kind of start getting back to normal in June. I'm just making this up. You decide on yours, but that might be scenario one. Scenario two is like, things start to get back to normal-ish in, you know, November. And scenario three might be, oh, we're kind of all still here at home this time next year. <laughs> And, you know, and so what you got to do is sort of imagine each one and as horrifying as it is, kind of think about all the implications of that and kind of picture it. And when you, you know, come down off the cliff from the, the fear involved, you'll be able to step back and look at it and go, OK, how do I prepare for these three scenarios and how do I keep updating my models so that I'm ready for each one? For autonomy, like work out what you now control. Mm -hmm. um, as someone who traveled a ton, like I now control my diet. For relatedness, the big one is just time with loving people. Um, on camera preferably or quality time on the phone can be amazing if you've really got time you know taking a walk you know, with someone in your ear just don't underestimate the value of a daily connection to calm your nervous system with people that matter so you know reach out to your loved ones family start going wider start going wider build networks of people that you can stay connected with that's the big one so those things we, you know we call for buffers um, it's really important to put these buffers in to keep you at the uh, at the level of threat that's the, that's the full answer